It's leaving the campground. Good morning. It is day 37 and this is my second to last day on trail. Yesterday I enjoyed um, starting off on some roads, across some farmlands, some roads. There's one annoying bit on long grass beside fences um, but then back to some roads and then on to uh, hit the coast and then it was great. Um, it was um, open land for a little bit and then we went into a nature reserve and it was beautiful bush and flowers and trees and interesting cliffs. Oh, it was great. And single track. Most of it was single track until we got to um, the uh, next campground. Then there's some beach walking um, up on the farm, some more beaches, some more farms. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good variety yesterday. Um, got to the campsite, there's one other guy there. I had a look at the temp site and ugh, it was awful. What an angle and muddy and yeah. Um, so I set up in the shelter and then one more guy came, Levi, and uh, we chatted um, basically until it got dark. It's nice to have some company and someone to talk to. Um, he's going the opposite way from me, just doing the um, at the Great South Coast Walk um, and the other guy's also going the other direction. Uh, so today, 17k to the first campground. Um, we I estimate today, well I've booked Cobblers Hill which will be 30 kilometres. So we'll see how it goes. Apparently it's pretty hilly today. <laughs> um, so I'll get a good workout. The first couple of K is on the road and heading uphill for a bit. So it's a nice way to warm up. It's a chilly morning. <laughs> um, and that's out of the wind. <laughs> the wind. Woo. I slept quite well last night. I was worried whether being on top of that little bench would be alright, but no, it was good. I had good sleep. Good news is my hip is good. Problem is completely gone. Absolutely no pain, no niggle, nothing. Yesterday after lunch is when it started disappearing. Now, I think it was being in all that rougher stuff um, <laughs> for some reason helped. Anyway, <laughs> nah, walking along, sun's behind me, it's <laughs> long, long shadows. <laughs> Off one road, onto another, and woohoo, there's the ocean again. <laughs> so now I've got to drop down to it. Apparently the last little bit down to the beach is a steep, steep drop. But, uh, and uh, slippery on long grass, but I don't think there's been a dew today, which is nice. At a road junction, there was no signs. I had to look very closely, so behind the tall grass, there's a sign that is so faded, I have no idea what it says. I had to get the map out. Double check. Going this way. <laughs> it's another subtle sign. You'd have to be really looking closely. <laughs> it's only as I got just about equal to it, I looked across and saw the style. <laughs> oh, right, into farmland now. Let me guess, following a fence. <laughs> Where are we going? Ah, uh, there's a very, very faded arrow I'm going that way. So disappear that way. <laughs> wow, these markers, considering this is the uh, great south coast walk as well, they really need to step up their game with markers. These are just old fences. I think in the far, far distance, it's that style. So I'm guessing that's the way we're going. Wow. That's marking! It's just terrible! <laughs> this is the foggy day, I wouldn't have the foggiest way to go! It's, yeah, really need to step the game up. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of adventure, but for uh, people doing this, I like, probably be you know, amateur hikers, so... Then 
no signs needed until you come to the next obstacle. If you're uh, going across country like this, then you should always be able to see the next marker from a uh, reasonable distance. <laughs> that sort of trail marking 101. Oh, look how blue that sea is. And finally, I have a gorgeous clear day. <laughs> chilly in the wind still but it's pretty early in the day so uh, oh, looking forward to a day of sun I think I see a stile past those trees <laughs> so I'm going to wander that way and check it is I was worried this would be wet but it's not but you have to keep your eyes open you're in this long grass and then there's this drop to get down to the stream there that would hurt if you were uh, didn't see that and continue through the long grass and to the stile oh good grass looks a bit shorter on the other side <laughs> I know I'm being a whinger this morning but yeah you know, they've made this walk they're now charging $28 for a campsite and <laughs> look at this dangerous that is going to give way very very soon <laughs> On the plus side, I can actually see the next marker, <laughs> just between the two trees. I thought the Australian Occupational Health and Safety was uh, pretty rigorous here, but um, nope. I know Department of Conservation would get in big trouble if something was like that. I remember yesterday my overly optimistic thoughts when I said, oh, don't have to do any more fence lines and long grass. <laughs> This fence line's got a bit of a trail on it now. I believe that in front of me is Kangaroo Island. You can get the ferry from um, Cape Jarvis to go over to it and explore. Down the steeple, up the steeple. And then I'm not sure if we're going up that way or if we're going that way. Look, there's a beach. Uh, Yep, I see what they mean when they said it's steep. <laughs> that is very steep. Oof. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to take my time going down there. This is made more challenging by the long grass, making it hard to see your footing. And the barbed wire right beside me. Oh, hello, kangaroo. Why are you coming towards me? <laughs> Let me see it over. Over there, sitting in the sun. There's one over there. There's also one just in here as well. All right, down I go. The added challenge is now the thistles. <laughs> Whew, nearly there. That looks just as steep from the bottom as it did going down. <laughs> All right. Head in along the beach now. Oh, what's this? Ice and trail walkers follow beach for five kilometers until trail leaves the beach. Alrighty. and the other ones. Thankfully the sand's not too bad. It's not hard but uh, I'm not sinking too deeply in it. Tide looks to be going out which is good. Stream crossing. I think I'll go further down. Looks like I might be able to get across there. Success! Across there and then across here. Now we're back on the beach. <laughs> I have a very slight tailwind. You can see the little balls all heading in that direction. Whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> hey! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, that came in a 
bit fast. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so the little balls are moving. So I have a very, I have a um, almost tailwind coming slightly from the side. These are the balls are like popping. <laughs> Quite a big zoom, which is why I'm so wobbly. A little rocky bit, just to break things up. <laughs> Sand castles. There's people ahead, a couple of them. <laughs> that one needed a running jump to get over. <laughs> Made it. Woohoo! One more stream to go. <laughs> Might have to do the same across here. One, two, off. <laughs> Not quite. Put some water on my toe. The other one's fine. <laughs> oh well. That's the last stream. <laughs> There's a vehicle parked up there, which I assume the guy that I saw. There's a lady up here as well, off from just a little walk in the deepest part of the sand. Run out of beach and I see some white, so I'm assuming that is now the uh, trail. So I'll get across to it. So here's a quick lesson on walking on sand because as you can see I'm staying on top of the sand and this other person is sinking into the sand and just to uh, show that it's the same type of sand I intentionally walked um, differently and I also did it like that otherwise I'm on top. So it's basically just making sure that you're keeping as you makes it quite hard work whereas if you keep your feet nice and even you just stay on top of the sand most of the time not always you now if you accidentally just get it off wrong then you're just going to sink in but if you keep your whole weight on then you're staying on top it's <laughs> another day sand walking it's a list of names here i'm assuming there was another sign up there <laughs> so um trail maintenance I'm assuming. <laughs> right. So we're going to be going along the side of these hills. Snake! <laughs> there we go. I actually saw it. It was moving slightly. It stopped moving. So, um, can you move? Please? No, it's just going to sit there. Let's see where the head is. <laughs> I go around. There you go, snake. Going around, leaving you alone. <laughs> oh, beautiful dark brown colour. Gorgeous. Look at that. Don't know what type it is. No idea what type it is, but I am giving it its distance <laughs> and kept my pole between me and it as I went around. All right. Oh, there's another one for the collection. It's a new one. Walkers follow coast. <laughs> this is dream. It's a waterfall. Look at that. <laughs> Not very big. This is good. Better than I was expected because it's not overgrown. So it may be rocky, but it, that makes it more fun. Um, but yeah, overgrown is a thing I don't like. <laughs> this one's three colours. Green, pink, and then brown at the bottom. <laughs> Alright, going down and then making our way back up again and along. It's a strange day where I see a snake before a bobtail. Over a style, more beautiful views of the coastline <laughs> and from Deep Creek Conservation Park. So head down and then up there 
and then it'll be going along for a bit and then start heading um, up the hill. Little rock bridge to get across, and then up, it's pretty steep. So I came down there, across, up, and four kilometers to the next campground. Oh, this is lovely, we're out of, out of um, farmland back into this beautiful bushy terrain. Walking along on the trail in front of me. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at this. <laughs> Blue sky, bush, single track. What more could you ask for? Oh, and shade. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> Just winding our way up the um, hill, climbing, but uh, not steeply. Two hikers going the other way. <laughs> Previous two hikers had big heavy packs, so I think they must be doing the wild south coast walk. The guy I just saw, not even a day bag, so obviously he's just out for a day walk. I think there's a car park not too far ahead. Still climbing, but such a gradient, it's barely noticeable. And it's a lovely smell along here. Not sure if it's these yellow flowers. It's nice. Have to watch out for these vines. Got little berries on them. Hey! See the oceans, we've come around the side of this hill here on the other side of the valley. Nice gentle way of climbing height. Oh, that was beautiful track. Now out into the heat again. <laughs> Some more information about the whales and uh, Encounter Marine Park, Peaches Islands. Right. Oh yeah, car park up here and a map. <laughs> oh, what have we got? We are. <laughs> so I've been coming along here and I am here <laughs> and then heading that way. So these are the Pages Islands. Hot on this road, lovely. <laughs> Finally getting some nice sun. Here's the campground for vehicles and Tapanapa campground <laughs> and the campsite is in here a little bit further. So the campsite's up there somewhere, I'm not going to stop off, I've still got water so I will continue on my way. Another couple, that one's pretty big, look at that, these ones aren't very aggressive, just looking at me. <laughs> I hear voices, more day walkers. <laughs> We're in the open for a bit, but now back in the bush and going along the side of a valley. Unfortunately, the direction of the sun is not a huge amount of shade, but the little patches are very refreshing. Lots of birds around today. I keep trying to get a rosella, but every time I get my camera focused on them, they take off. Just saw a new bird, it's a uh, small bird, sort of like a sparrow size with a um, bright red head. It's beautiful, but too fast for the camera. No skipping, do not skip. <laughs> Prance frolic, it's a very playful looking man isn't it? <laughs> I'm assuming it means don't go that way. <laughs> it's just on the side of the trail, so um, <laughs> trail's going up here and then there's this sign there. Hmm, okay. Climbing out of the creek, big stairs. Whew. Hard work on stairs. Hey. Stopped commenting on day hikers, there's so many. Lots and lots of people out. Um, still only those two hikers I saw first thing, everyone else is just day hikers. And the last few people have actually been following giveaway up pool etiquette, which is nice. <laughs> There's the view. <laughs> Way down beside the stream now. Finished dropping. <laughs> so just got to get over the stream. And then there'll be more climbing. <laughs> Bit of a challenge to get a, across through rocks and sticks and stuff. Pretty easy to get, keep the feet dry, 
going through there. There's a big step up those stairs. These seem a bit smaller. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Looks like this is a reroute from a while ago. Wonder how long it's a reroute until it's just the route. <sighs> Funky poking up. Oh, vertical. <laughs> Hey, that's a bit of a climb. I think I'm nearly at the top. There's been some lovely trails. There's rocky bits, but there's also been quite long bits like this, which are just lovely. This is Trig Campground in here. And I'm back on. Whoop. All right, so I am here and continuing along to Cobbler Hill Campground. That looks steep up and it's steep down as well. Woohoo! It's gonna be a good climb up. Oh, colour of that beetle. Red and then the front is iridescent. Yep, this is definitely steep. It's nice open, but vegetation's been a little tight in places, but still very clear track. I can hear the stream, I'm nearly there. <laughs> Patterns in the water with the foam um, up through the rocks and across there, and the climb starts. Pretty easy crossing on the stones. <laughs> oh, that looks steep! Oh, beautiful. I'm up the steepest, still a little bit of climbing to get to the very top, but pretty much up. The up was much easier than the down, as normal. Seems shorter, too. It looks like another big hill. That was one of those hills that looked really intimidating, but wasn't. Oh, 1.3 to Eagle Waterhole. It's got a uh, new Aboriginal name, which obviously they haven't updated all of the signs, but that's what the Far Out app has the new signs. Uh, sorry, the new name. On a vehicle track for a while and heading away from sea, so views of farmland. And turning off this road. Looks like we're still on a vehicle track for a little bit longer. Hello? You guys sleeping? Did I disturb you? Obviously not too much. You're used to people. <laughs> oh, and that is the uh, Eagle Creek or Eagle Hill Campground. Looks similar to the other one with the shelter, water tanks and uh, toilets up there. But I'm continuing and that means I only have Two and a bit more kilometres to go. It's going to be an early day. I just turned off the road and now on this beautiful single track. Another stream crossing, but thankfully the streams are way down now. <laughs> beautiful little waterfall. Just not an appealing pool to swim in at the bottom. <laughs> All right, I am climbing now. Get up out of this valley. Couple of whole campground, 100 meters. <laughs> that was quick. Hikes from here. So I'm here and head down that way. <laughs> and this is quite neat. So Coppola Hill. Basically I go down and then it's pretty flat the rest of the day to Cape Jervis. These sides are definitely set up for uh, vehicles. There's no way I can get my pegs in there. So I've ended up tucking in this little corner off my side. <laughs> and that's really windy. <laughs> windy night. <laughs> 